Do you want me to go after seven books made of metal that were written, or in this case minted, back in the year 70 AD? Each book is sealed, or was sealed at one time or another, but now that six are no longer sealed, there must be four riders out there riding four horses, one of whom is a pale rider on a pale horse. I think he used to do bong hits to a Led Zeppelin song like that down in some kid's basement back when I was in high school. Not exactly, Cross says. The horse is a metaphor. According to the Bible, the only known entity to have the power to breach the seventh seal on the seventh book is something not of this earth. And what would that be? The Messiah, the man guide you and I both know as Jesus of Nazareth. Another wave of silence shrouds the room for a moment. Listen, Chase. Magda jumps in after a time. More than likely, the seals are just a bedtime story created by the author of the book of Revelations. John of Patmos, I say, or John the Divine. But that doesn't make them any less powerful to the believer, Cross adds, especially the seventh seal. To some believers, breaking the seal means the heavens will rain down destruction on the earth. How so? Legend and the Bible has it that once the seventh seal is opened, there will be events summoned by seven trumpets that will bring unbelievable devastation to our planet. Volcanoes will erupt, forests will burn, the earth will split open, tombs and graves will open up, oceans will boil, meteors will rain down from heaven and bombard the earth. But do you know what will be the biggest threat against humanity, Chase? I swallow something bitter. You mean it gets worse? Satan will pit man against man. He will summon up an army of evil. And if said destruction just happens to be a wife's tale, I say, then the believers will make it true. In other words, Magda says, if the books fall into the wrong hands, such as North Korea or Al-Qaeda or ISIS, or simply some crazy bastard bent on world domination, it can mean a whole lot of hurt for a whole lot of people. I'm beginning to see your interest in the books, Cross, I admit. He grins. And of course, the fact that the codices are priceless is also reason enough to pique my interest. But rest assured, this one isn't about money. It's about seeing that the seventh seal is never opened. Magda looks me in the eye. Don't you see, Chase? By retrieving the seven metal codices and securing the seventh seal on the seventh book, you will be saving humanity. The book would indeed make quite the prize for your collection. I say, drinking down the rest of my champagne, crossing my arms over my chest. Of course, it will cost you. A project like this won't be without its dangers. I'm prepared to pay handsomely, Chase Man, he says. You should know that by now. I nod. Any idea where to start looking? Accounts are conflicting. Some say they've been in the possession of the same Israeli family for a century or more. Other, more scholarly folks, claim they are entombed in the Holy of Holies under the Dome of the Rock, which, if true, means we're SOL. Whatever the case, they seem to have ended up in Jerusalem. And do you? I ask. What do you believe? Like I said, I believe that six of the seven seals have already been broken, and that six of seven angels and their trumpets are already blowing their horns, so to speak. How do you know? Just look at the signs, yo, he says. Over the past 20 years, we've seen the destruction of the Twin Towers in New York, the collapse of the financial markets, some of the worst hurricanes and floodings of all times, plus great civil unrest in places like Ferguson, Missouri, and Chicago. Free man being pitted against free man. We've seen the uprising of ISIS and the slaughter of Christians and chaos in the Middle East. Again, man being pitted against man. North Korea is threatening nuclear war, and just last week it was announced that the Russians have developed the new SNWS, or Satan Nuclear Weapon System, which means a single missile can now take out a country the size of France. Yet all of this pales in comparison to what will happen if that seventh seal gets into the wrong hands and is used as the ultimate weapon. Any idea who might also be looking for them? Cross shrugs his shoulders. I would imagine that many people from many governments and institutions are secretly searching for the seven codices, but I wouldn't be so concerned with competition. What do you mean? The danger you will face in your quest will be of a different nature. If that pale rider on that pale horse is real, and if he is indeed sent from hell itself, he will be the one who will try to stop you. 